So hey YouTube, here's a quick video on getting an OC login token without going through the console access. Let's get started. So step one, you're going to log out of the cluster. So I'm going to assume you have a cluster deployed, do OC logout or unset kubeconfig, whatever you're using. Um, and then double check that you're logged out. Uh, run some command like OC get nodes and hopefully that'll fail and show you that you're logged out. So the next step we're going to do is run a really long curl command to get the code in the CSRV values. And we're going to use that as input to the next curl command. So this is what it looks like. I've omitted my username, my password, um, and my project and domain name. But aside from that, it should be obvious what these um, values should be. So then we're going to take those values that are outputted from the previous command and we're going to ins insert the code and the CSRF values where I'm showing minus the less than and greater than signs around them. And you're going to insert the username and password. In my, in my case it's uh, cubeadmin and uh, the password is the automatically generated one uh, that's provided. And uh, then you're going to insert the project name and the domain name. Uh, my case is just OCP demo for the project and then the domain name is your registered domain. So finally we can use OC login with the dash dash token flag to insert the token and log into the cluster. So let's go through a quick demo. Okay let's get started. So I've got a cluster deployed and I'm logged in as cube admin. I actually have a three node cluster deployed in AWS and you can see I have three nodes here. So the next thing we need to do is run OC logout or unset kubeconfig to log out. I'll do both here just so you see the commands. Okay, now we can run OC get nodes and you should see that it now fails because we're not logged in. Great. Okay, so now we can work on getting the token. Okay, let's run one long curl command to get the code and the CSRV values. You can see I'm highlighting these values in the output. Next, we'll take these values and add them to the next curl command. Okay, we've run the second curl command and that gives us the token that we want to use for the OC login command. You can see that in the output. Okay, now let's run the OC login command to log into the cluster. And lo and behold, we're logged in. Let's do a OC who am I? And you can see we're logged in as cube admin. We're using OpenShift 4.8.3 and we're running a three node cluster. And voila. So big shout out to Federico Rossi and Ronnie Haddad for helping me out with this video. And thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.